Today we have a fun activity that will help us learn how many baby teeth children have. This will be a fun activity if you have younger children because it'll help us practice our letters and our numbers and will also help children know how many baby teeth they'll grow to have. So what we'll need for this activity is an empty egg carton and if you have the half empty carton from the last activity we can also use this. So what we will do is we will cut our full egg carton in half long ways and if you have that spare egg carton from the last activity you can cut each section individually short ways this way. If you didn't save the halves of the egg cartons that we used in the last activity that's okay just look for another empty carton and you'll be able to do this activity just the same. Once we have our egg cartons, we're going to have something that looks like this. So if we count them together, we can see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 teeth on the top, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 teeth on the bottom. So in total, we have 20 baby teeth. So now we're going to learn how the baby teeth are numbered. Unlike adult teeth, baby teeth use a letter system. So what I'd like you to do is we're going to letter each egg slot starting from A on this side and we're going to stop when we end at the end of this row with the letter J. So once we have that, we have the letters A through J on the top row. Now when we start lettering the bottom row, we are going to start with K down on this one and end with the letter T on this one. So once we have that, we're going to have the letters K through T on the bottom row. So if we look, in total we have our 20 teeth and they almost fill up the entire alphabet. But we start at the letter A and we finish at the letter T. So if your child is interested to see which letter teeth they currently have, we can do that. So we know that usually the first teeth that come out are the teeth right in the middle, the central incisors. So those letters are E and F and O and P. Those are the ones right in the middle. So if we start with those middle teeth, and they have those teeth right in the middle, the ones that are right in front, we know that they have E and F and O and P, and they can work their way outwards. So the lateral incisors are D and G, Q and N, so on and so forth. Now if they've lost any teeth, they can also find out which tooth they lost based on where the tooth falls in the sequence. And if they're missing baby teeth or have more baby teeth coming out, they'll be able to see which letter that tooth corresponds to. So now we know how many baby teeth children have. I hope you've had a fun time lettering and numbering those egg cartons that represent the teeth. Don't forget to brush and floss our teeth every day to keep them happy and healthy. Join us next time for another fun activity.